What's up guys, David here, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to SIM unlock the iPhone 7. It's worth noting that this method also works for the iPhone 7 Plus and pretty much any other iPhone out there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn off Find My iPhone, which you can do by going into the settings, then iCloud, then Find My iPhone, and then flip the switch to the off position. Once you've done that, go back to the home screen and open up the dialer and dial star pound zero six pound to bring up your iPhone's IMEI number. Write this number down and make sure that you get it right as you're gonna need it later. The next step is to get the unique unlock code that your phone needs from an unlocking service. And soon enough you'll get an email that looks something like this telling you that your iPhone 7 has been unlocked. And from here all you have to do is enter in an unaccepted SIM card. So basically any SIM card that isn't from the carrier your phone is locked to. So in my case since the phone is locked to AT&T I'll enter in a T-Mobile SIM card and then all you have to do is connect the phone to Wi-Fi and that's it your iPhone will be officially unlocked I'll trade you an iPhone 6 for a CD. Are you serious? Oh, you're selling it or what? No, I got it early. Brother, it's not even out. YouTube.com slash TLD. T I what? TLD. TLD? Tom Larry David. Larry David. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, if you caught my most recent video, then chances are you're probably looking forward to this video. If you missed it or you're brand new, however, I have it linked right below that button that closely resembles an upwards facing thumb or annotated somewhere around here. Now, to quickly fill you in, enter iPhone 6, Apple's upcoming next big flagship smartphone, which isn't even out yet, nor has it even been announced. But I was able to obtain and get my hands on a fully functioning, working iPhone 6 clone that on the outside appears to be a larger 4.7 inch iPhone 6 but once you look a little closer and you spend even a minimal amount of time with it you'll quickly realize that it is a big pile of sh now deep down this iPhone 6 clone is a low resolution underpowered Android device running an iOS skin on top of it to make it appear like it's running iOS but I started thinking if I put this in someone's hand would they notice immediately how bad it was or could I get them to believe that this was the iPhone 6 that it was that much faster that much lighter had a 3d display you guys answer with a resounding yes, so that's exactly what I did. What's up, dude? Yeah. So this is their bigger iPhone. Would you mind checking it out? What? Yeah. Once you step in, you can't step out. I don't like Apple products. No? Okay, what do you have? The uh, Galaxy S5. Five. Five. Right now, I got the iPhone 5. iPhone 5. Hi, bud. I just upgraded to a 5. Then I have a 5. Oh, my God. Dude. So the iPhone 5S, right? A7 processor. Samsung's obviously catching up. They're taking all their sales. So they skipped the 8, they skipped the 9, they went straight for the A10. Because this has a 26 core processor. 26? 26 cores. Okay. It's incredible. And can you be honest with me and then at least admit you feel the speed on this? Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. It, it feels super fast. Oh, dang. It was like instant. Change really quick. Yeah, when you were like scrolling through the pages, it's, it's so fast. fast. Yeah. Yeah, it, it moves fast. It's fast, right? Yeah. It does go fast. It's really, really good. That's an 8K display. What does that mean? <laughs> the 8K resolution. Can you see how clear it is? Uh, yeah. I, I could. It looks clearer. Does like, it? Yeah. It looks like it's just sticky. Like, like it's almost like a yeah. sticker, like it's, it's fake, right? Yeah. It's really clear. Yeah. It's amazing, right? It is amazing. My question is, will it break easily? Though? It's actually got a sapphire display. So, I've heard that it's supposed to withstand arrows. 
Like with you could arrows? shoot it with a bow. Yeah. It's got an eight day battery. Oh, so for eight days. I don't have to charge it. You can take it on a camping trip. Whoa, that's tight. What? what? So how many milliamps is that? 7,000. 7,000? 7,000. It's actually 300% lighter. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah? No, I don't know. Maybe not. Wow, it is light. <laughs> Feel how light, how much lighter. Amazing, right? Hey, that's not bad. Very light. Only it feels like one of those. Well, it's plastic right now. I'm sure it's not. Well, oh, yeah. That's actually. Is that the way it's gonna It's happen? nano aluminum, so it's okay. 300. It looks like plastic and it feels like plastic, but it's actually indestructible. And the iPhone 5s, iOS 7, they introduced the parallax effect. It kind of was a fake 3D. This is legitimate 3D off your phone. No glasses needed. All you got to do, just hold it up. Whoa. You gotta cross your eyes a little bit. Nah. Nah. You see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? It's awesome, bro. Oh, wow. Can you see the back? Yeah. It's like popping at your face. You kind of have to like cross your eyes. I don't know if you see that. You see it? No. You can't move. I asked you if you were serious about this. You can't laugh either. You can't laugh. You can't laugh. Are you serious? Yeah, you, you, this is serious stuff. It's not a prank, is it? No. Have you? What do you think of Siri? It's the best voice operated thingy right now. Apple didn't think so. They actually got rid of it. Did they? Yeah. Really? So wow. check it out. Normally, where you would uh, access Siri, you get Google now. Am I fun to uh, talk to uh, sometimes, Google? You know, like you. Am I okay sometimes, you know, because I could get pretty, um, I work, you know, I'm, I go to different places and I need some, some type of attention. My wife doesn't give me some attention sometimes, you know. What do you think of the camera? Pretty good. 100 times optical zoom. It's still clear too. Incredible, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is really great. At least the same. Maybe a little bit better. So Apple's finally catching up then, right? With this one, maybe. Maybe. Oh, what are all these moves? Galaxy. Yeah, you haven't seen that before, right? Oh. That looks blurry. blurry sure. The picture quality was a little in. Eh. It's so high resolution that it looks pixelated. I don't know if you guys can see Why that. Why does it look? The camera looks weird. That's how res high resolution it is. Once you put it on your computer, you can see how clear it is. Oh, really? Right now, the screen can't even handle the clarity of the pictures. But if you're trying to post it like on social media... Oh, everyone else will see it fine. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fake? It's a fake replica. Wow. It's fake? Yeah. This is fake. Oh. <laughs> I, I was Don't trying to talk it up like. Yeah, no, you, you guys. It's kind of like. You, did you guys believe it? You, know, you seem pretty Wait, legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. Like, there's no way Apple would do There's no way. I know, the TV, I know it. For the TV show? I fell for it. it. Nah, I fell for it. Fuck. Uh, Jimmy. So thank you guys very much for watching, especially those who were in the video. If you somehow stumbled upon and are watching this video, you get a tremendous thank you from me for putting up with my crap. Now, if you found this video entertaining in any way, shape, or form, feel free to hit that like button. It is much appreciated. And of course, in return, you get a virtual hot five at your face. Now, real quickly before I hop out of here, and I'm willing to bet that most of you probably didn't even notice, but the entire video, and even now, I'm rocking clothes from 5-4 Club. And for those that watch the channel know that this is something that I would usually wear. So 5-4 Club is a super cool company based out of Los Angeles, and I like them for two reasons. One is that I genuinely like their clothes I have and would wear them outside of video. Videos, but the big reason is is they make it stupid simple to get awesome clothes to your door You can literally sign up in about a minute and they send you a hundred and twenty dollars worth of clothes for only 60 bucks a month their styles range from a simple t-shirt and jeans, which I'm obviously a fan of, to dress to impress, all the way up to business casual, so more than likely you're going to find something you like. So yeah, I wear the clothes, I like the clothes, I think a lot of you would enjoy this, and if you want to check it out, you can actually get 15 bucks off your first order by answering the code TLD at checkout. I'll have that link down below. Again, make sure to use TLD at checkout. That way you can save 15 George Washington. So aside from that, again, this is Jonathan with TLD. Real quickly, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy, Judner from uh, Your Average Consumer. He actually initiated the iPhone 6 dummy kind of interview style. So I got to give credit where credit's due. So definitely make sure to check out his original video. Also linked below along with the gear that I use to create these videos. If you guys have any questions, drop a line down below and I will see you guys later. That's my biggest single right now. It's on iTunes. It's titled All I Need. So if you guys get a chance, go online, check it out. It's great music. 
straight out of California. You know, you gotta support the brothers. Thank you guys.